Well, what's up guys? This is The Mexican and I'm back with another fresh drinks review for you today. Um, today we're going to be doing the third part in my English ale series, um, the 1698 uh, Kentish Strong Ale, courtesy of Shepherd, Neem and Co. Um, as mentioned previously, still got COVID, so forgive the voice. Um, forgive uh, lack of uh, fidelity in the tasting notes, um, but we'll get we'll get into it. It's um, yeah, as, as the name may uh, imply, it's from uh, well Faversham, Kent. I wonder if that's the same as the county. I'm actually not sure. My English geography is quite shocking. Um, but yes, it's uh, Faversham, the market town of kings, is apparently the <laughs> what Faversham's known for. Didn't know that. Um, so we got 1698 bottle conditioned Kentish strong ale is a living product which continues to ferment in the bottle. This creates a natural sediment, just like real ale, as it ferments in the cask at the pub. Only local hops, malted barley, glucose syrup, and water drawn from artesian well um, are used to brew 1698 bottle conditioned Kentish strong ale. I'm going to really go in the whole name the whole way through, aren't I? Hops are added three times, hence it is thrice hopped just in case anyone might have gotten left behind on that one i guess they had to really make that clear um so we've got the tasting and smelling notes we've got sea auburn smell roasted fruit hobby taste rich fruity warming i'm gonna go ahead and uh, say that warming isn't a taste but there you go um so we got 6.5 uh, abv 500 mils um 3.3 UK units. I do not know. Once again, I probably should have looked between these reviews, but I have not done so. Uh, whether how they stack up to Australian units. Um, give that a bit of a pour. There we go. All right. Just a, just a little bit. Not going to do the whole thing. But, uh... Uh, it's a... Uh... Kind of reminds me of that, that one beer I had, the Godfathers, that I reviewed and absolutely fucking bollocked on this channel. It um, smells kind of like that. Still, I've got I've got a bit more faith in these guys. Let's see. Um, let me actually explain why it's called 1698. I'm going to go ahead and assume that's because that's when uh, these guys opened up. Um, yes, well, that's... I haven't got too much to say about it. Kind of a creaminess to it, like a, like a milkshake IPA. If you if you've if you've smelt that, um, yeah, let's let's get into it. That's quite good. That's quite good. That um, yeah, it's strong to be sure. Um, but it's it delivers what it promises. I think, and uh, that's that's the key difference between the last two I reviewed. This one, you go in expecting it to be strong, delivers strong malt toasted malt flavors um roasted they're using here roasted toasted is close close enough um it, it's getting that i don't know it's definitely a bit hoppy for sure but that's what you'd expect if it's gonna be a strong ale don't know about the fruit um but yeah rich rich is a good one i like that <sighs> yeah look it's a bit of a sipper you know you don't want to be skull in this bottle but you know, at the, at the price you're paying, you're not going to want to, um, at like $8 a bottle. This will be the most expensive one of the three, I imagine, being a full you know, standard drink above everything else. Um, still, it's got everything you want in there. Um, it's, it delivers what you expect, but delivers it really well. Um, yeah, nice, 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 real toasted malt um, base. Bit of bit of hops to punch it up on the uh, on the finish. A little bit of spiciness even um, on the back of the palate. Um, yeah, really quite, really quite nice. Um you not too much not too much negative to say about it to be honest um just quite quite good all-rounder frankly quite a good all-rounder um i'll give it um oh geez i'll give it 8.5 i reckon 8.5 out of 10 bottle conditioned kentish strong ales oh pardon me i drank it too quickly um if you like the content go and uh, smash that subscribe button if you want to watch another video, it'll be the other beer video I've done. I've forgotten the name of it. The premium ale, the old hooky. Go ahead and click that button right there. Once again, guys, this is The Mexican, signing off.